Hi, I'm Danny, and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made the styrene trailer from my last video. So here's what I'm going to be using. I've got some 3.2 millimeter square styrene strip, some 1.5 millimeter square. And I've got some 2.4 millimeter tubing. So that's hollow in the middle. And then I've got some one millimeter styrene sheet and some tread plate. It's HO scale. And I've got a mitre block and a saw here. And of course a ruler and a craft knife, a pencil there. And a couple of files, some styrene glue. You could use super glue as well. And some sandpaper there. And I've drawn myself out some basic plans for my tandem trailer. My trailer this time is going to be the same size as the other one I made. It's 70 millimeters long and 30 millimeters wide. But check the car you're going to put it on because you might want to make the bed 35 millimeters wide. Is this for a relatively small car? So there I've printed out my plan on some paper just in case I need the measurements or anything like that. And I'll start out by cutting two 70 millimeter lengths of the 3.2 millimeter square rod. You can just cut this with your craft knife or whatever if you don't have a mitre block, but it helps to make nice straight cuts. Next, I use some more of the 3.2 millimeter rod to size up some of the one millimeter sheet, and then I cut myself some strips of that so these will be 3.2 millimeters wide then i cut myself two pieces that are 70 millimeters and two pieces that are 30 millimeters next i cut out my tread plate and that's 70 by 12 millimeters. And so there's all the parts of our base frame. And to assemble it, I'm going to start by gluing the 3.2 millimeter rod onto the tread plate there. Then the strip of one millimeter sheet is glued onto the other side. Next I glue the two 30 millimeter pieces onto the ends. So it's a little bit fiddly. I'm using the ruler there to help line it up. So it can be a little bit fiddly, but once you get the first sort of section stuck in place, it becomes a bit easier.
Right, there's the other end glued on as well. So that's the bed of the trailer finished. Now it needs some axles. So I've got some of the 2.4 millimeter tubing. I'll just mark it off so there's a millimeter or so overshooting the sides of the trailer. Then I've cut my two lengths with the mitre block. Then I'm just going to use my plans there to help line up the axles. There we go, there's the axles in place. Next I use the plans to cut out the tow bars. I'm using the 1.5 millimeter square rod to make these. Then I glue them into place. So you make them, they could perhaps be a little bit longer. So there was a bit more room between the trailer and the car. But it's totally up to you. Right, there's the axles and the tow bar in place. Next, I'm going to make the wheel covers. So I've cut out some six millimeter wide strip for these. There, I've cut two pieces that are 30 millimeters long and used the 45 degree angle in my mitre block to cut the angled edges. Then these pieces are 35 millimeters long. I'll just use my angled arched piece to mark off some lines there. And then I score half the way through. And then I can bend the edges over and it'll give me the angle for the guards over the wheels. Just make sure you don't snap them right off. So these are glued together. So you'll see it leaves a little gap there where they got bent over. So I'm using some thick super glue to fill the gap there. I'm using my Starbond super glue, which you can get for 15% off with the link in the description down below. Right, so here they are after the super glue's dried. I'll use a file to file them down. And 
Get a light sanding. Most of the pieces are sort of get a light sanding here and there to get rid of any rough edges. And then I just have to glue the guards on, wheel wells, whatever they're called. Alright, there we go, and the final thing to do is to make the toe hit at the end. So to do this, I've just glued on a little piece of rod. And I've got a little piece of the one millimeter sheet, and I'll round off the end with a file. A little bit fiddly trying to hold something this small with grown up hands. Make it nice and round with some sandpaper. There we go. And I'll just glue that over the top there. And I'd say that'll fit over most basic sort of die cast trailer hooks. And then one extra thing I didn't put on the last trailer is some tail lights, just some little squares and rectangles of one millimeter styrene there now it's time for some paint it's up to you really how you paint it i start out with some black primer and i painted it silver so if you wanted a nice shiny trailer you could leave it there or maybe stick some decals on it here and there then i applied a black wash Here it is after that's dried. So again, you can just leave it there. With a nice sort of grubby steel look. But I want mine to be nice and rusty. So I'm going to use a sponge and some brown and orange paint basically to apply some rust chipping all over it. I also use some clear red and orange to paint the tail lights. And of course this was all sealed with a light coat of varnish. Used a matte varnish. And here's some wheels. Just rusted those up a little bit as well. So there you go. That's how you make a nice simple tandem trailer for your 164th scale die cast of course you could make it whatever size you need or more or less complicated it's really not too difficult thanks heaps for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already check out the main page if you want to see more content like this and you can go and check out my other channel now. I've just started where I have a bit of fun racing older cars around interesting circuits in a set of Corsa and some other sims. And also thanks heaps to my Patreons for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. Check out the link below if you'd like to help out as well. And you will also get access to some decal designs from my videos. And I'll be posting the plans for this trailer there as well. Oh, and you might notice that the 55 Corvette isn't on the trailer this time. That's because it's back in the shop getting a makeover. As people rightly pointed out, I didn't really paint it correctly. Stay tuned.